I'm Mike, and you're watching uh, Spiritual Combat um, Morning Combat Brief. And uh, today, what I'm talking about is uh, some character issues and stuff like that. Um, kind of building a little bit off uh, what I taught on yesterday. But, uh, you know, um, one of the things people need to consider, uh, you got that, I think it's Psalms 1912, uh, where uh, he says, cleanse me of secret faults and, you know, sin and faults that I'm unaware of. And you're talking about this is back in the day they had all they had all the whole truth and everything they were a nation um everything was established as far as uh how a family was run all that stuff like that and uh you know they had a, a solid understanding of the word um they weren't in a captivity and he's writing cleanse me of secret faults okay and the reason I'm bringing that out is you got people today, we are in captivity. Everybody knows they come from broken, dysfunctional families. You know you're not right, okay? And I, I just watch a lot of people almost coming off like, hey, they got it. They're good to go. Um, you know, you watch a lot of the Hebrew Israelite groups, they're debating with each other instead of trying to build each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was telling my wife yesterday, because uh, we're here in Jacksonville. Um, a lot of these Hebrew Israelite groups, the big ones too, are here in Jacksonville. If I run into a Hebrew, if I run into one of these Hebrew Israelite groups, it's not going to be a, a gang war, a power war. It's going to be, I'm going to come up to them and be like, hey, my name is Mike. I'm with Jacksonville Hebrew Israelites. And uh, I just want to let y'all know if, if you need your car fixed or something like that, we got you. Just hit me up and try to come together as a nation. But you see a lot of war, you know, with these groups almost. You know what I'm saying? It's like the, wrong, the total wrong mindset from the beginning. You're seeing your brother as your enemy. So it's like we're still in that thing. But back to the topic. The fact is, is. We have to realize, hey, we you have we have character flaws. You've you can't come out of what you came out of growing up, what you went through growing up, all the dysfunction you came through growing up. And not have, you know, Think you're and then kind of fool yourself into thinking you're a complete person. You know, I could tell you in the last three, four weeks, you know, especially here at work in the work environment, you know, so I, I work kind of in a high pressure, it could be high pressure sometimes, uh, maintenance environment. So anywhere I'm weak at, and I'm always looking, but anywhere I'm weak at, it it, it can be shown to me if I'm willing to look. You know, I could just smooth. I, I watch a lot of people smooth flaws over in themselves and fool themselves and make excuses and stuff like that. And to somebody who's willing to look at their flaws and you go through the pain and humiliation of realizing, hey, I need to improve in that area. When you see somebody, you can pick up real fast when somebody's making excuses and doing things to try to cover up insecurities and stuff like that. So, and <clears throat> it's like the flesh naturally does it. It's like you do it automatically. Like I do it automatically. I, I, I make myself look at where, hey, okay, where am I at fault in this? Okay. I had a couple situations here. And then um, where... This this was the case where I was I was just trying to comfort myself with my own excuses and stuff like that. And then I had to man up, 
get tough and be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, I know this dude's off, but let's see where I'm off at in this thing. And sure, I looked at the small area where I, I was off at and said, okay, I, I need to get better on this. And afterwards, you feel more empowered. You know what I'm saying? You feel more uh, enlightened or whatever you want to call it on the path. You know what I'm saying? Um like you can see the path better. You can you can see better. You're not in the dark. You're not in the darkness. And that's book. That's Bible. Like you gotta look at yourself. And there can be secret sin. Like who was writing who wrote that verse? What was Israel a nation when they wrote that verse? And he was praying to hey. Cleanse me of secret sin. So us in this oppression and uh, with curses on us and all that, we you real you know we we really have secret sin. You know what I'm saying? And and faults that we're unaware of. And I'm telling you, it's like like that's the main problem. You know what I'm saying? That's um, especially I see it in other people. Because I've seen it in myself, you know, and I'm, it's a constant process to, hey, show me where I'm off at. When I begin to see patterns of certain things happening in my life, I I, I, I do that hard prayer that, you know, my flesh don't want to do because I know it's going to be humiliating and painful. Lord, show me where I'm off at. And then he'll slowly show me if I decide to ignore it, he'll show me in a more, even more blatantly obvious, painful way until it gets my attention, you know, but, um, but, you know, it's a process of constantly analyzing yourself, looking at, looking at yourself, and in doing that, you're going to be a testimony to other people, you'll be able to t talk on it, teach on it, and exemplify it, you know what I'm saying, in your actions, you know, um, in your handling of situations, when people come to you uh, wanting advice and stuff like that, you'll be able to articulate something very good, really break it down in a very simple, understandable way that'll inspire and motivate them to, you know, get whatever right, you know what I'm saying, but it's like, you got to be the leader. You got to do it first and then be the example and everything like that. But, um, yeah, but that's a big thing. And, and it's like, it's very logical, but we're in a society where there's a lot of uh, deception and, uh, you know, self-exaltation, you know, people raising themselves and thinking highly of themselves is encouraged in this society. So something as simple as what I'm saying, which is very simple, is like, look, we know we come from a, a, a nation that's, uh, that has curse. We're under those uh, curses of Deuteronomy, those biblical curses. We see them going on among us in our family as we grew up in our lives so let's not delude ourselves. Let's not lie to ourselves and act like, hey, I don't still have stuff going on with me. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, and in doing that, yeah, you go through the pain and, you know, it can be painful coming, coming to the realization that, hey, I'm off in these areas. But once it comes to the surface and you handle it and deal with it, it's a feeling that can't be explained, you know what I'm saying? Because you're overcoming, you're really, truly moving forward in this word, uh, in action, not just in, um, in mental ascension. You're actually moving forward in action. You're, you're improving your character. You're fixing character flaws, you know? And we all, again, I keep drilling it. We all have them because, like, I, I, it's like I've worked 
intimately with these other nations. Just being in the military and where I've worked, I've lived with them in in other countries and all that stuff. And I see the difference between the where the uh, between the way they're brought up and the way I was brought up. I see the difference in their mindset and my mindset. I, I see the stuff that got instilled in me, and I see this uh, while I was growing up, and it got instilled in them. You know what I'm saying? I see how secure they are and who they and in, in who they are, how secure they are in in their identity. And then I see how insecure I was in my identity because, you know, my culture was a culture of, that was given to me by another nation designed to destroy me. So it's like I see all this stuff and it can be hum uh, humbling to see. You got to be willing to humble yourself, but pride will blind you from seeing it. And part of that culture they gave us to destroy us a lot was pride look at the hip hop culture is being prideful about your curses basically look at the hip hop videos they're glorying in their shame they're glorying in selling drugs going to jail uh being a hoe like uh being a stripper is like glorified you know don't listen to authority. Like everything they're telling us, and and that's just the obvious, typical stuff I'm saying. But there's deeper, more character-based stuff that they've sold us, and that that's uh, just destroying us. That you don't know's there. That you'll begin to see when you begin to start this thing of self-examination. And if you don't do it, you're gonna get destroyed out here. You're going to have a painful life. And you see all these gray hairs all over me. I'm telling you, here I am, 41, getting, re getting ready to go on 42. And I'm telling you, I went through a painful military career learning, you know, fixing these character flaws, learning how to deal with... Uh, with with these other nations that we're under and all that stuff, you know, it's painful. I'm trying to save you pain from going through all this in your life. You know what I'm saying? So get in this truth, get in the word and, you know, begin examining yourself. You know, that's where it starts at. Anyway, my name is Mike. Uh, this is Spiritual Combat, uh, Morning Combat Brief and have a nice day.